Hey guys, Django here. Today, uh, after getting some in-game and out-of-game questions about how I get so many kills in Arcade, I decided to make a how I get my kills video uh, because it is not really rocket science what I'm doing. It is a combination of good aiming and positioning, situation awareness and I intend to explain all that in this match. I had this match uh, two days ago, I think it was, uh, where I got 26 kills and I've been getting them regularly for quite some time, 20 plus kill games. And um, well, it has to do with a few factors which I intend to explain in this video. So you can expect that. I'll also already tell you what I will fly. I will fly the P-51 first, then the P-47 and then the P-38. So you'll have uh, distinct airplanes with distinct differently characteristics. But the outcome is the same. And why is the outcome the same? Because I'm uh, doing the same things in all planes. Um, not exactly the same of course, because every plane is slightly different. And you got to play a plane two strings. But the same general principles apply. As you will see in the match. Hey guys, so here we are in the match in the P-51. Now, what I tend to do in most of my videos is, and I'll explain this briefly, uh, in all fighters, doesn't matter what kind of uh, fighter it is, energy is important. You want to have more energy than your opponent. Why? Because with your energy you can play. You can trade energy altitude you can uh, get a tactical advantage over your enemy if you have more energy than the opponent because you you can do more if you have more energy now that's why it is always important to climb in the beginning of a match whether it's realistic or arcade or even simulator battle though I'd, I haven't played it but altitude energy is important so we are climbing. Now, what, co what coincides with climbing is another important thing in arcade, getting at the bombers. When you're a fighter pilot like me, and you, fi you fight more with fighter planes than with bombers, it, the most important thing you can do is get at their bombers. So, uh, we do that. I, I always tend to do that. So I climb, and with that I also look and see whether there are any bombers that I can get out of the match so they can't do any damage to our ticket counter. So here we have the first Wellington. Aim slightly above it. And that's my first kill. Second Wellington comes in. Now, as you see, I am aiming slightly before the aiming circle. This is because it is a general direction indication. You should take the circle too serious as that is exactly where the plane is at the moment. If the plane is faster you have to lead significantly further and you basically always have to aim slightly before the aiming circle. Not where the circle is because you usually are too short in your aim then. You've got to lead the target more. You will see that in all these situations. Here again. Swordfish. I aim in front and sometimes the swordfish isn't so uh, fast so this time it, I didn't aim that much in front of the of the, the circle but uh, yeah do not make the mistake of aiming exactly at the circle well our situation at the moment we killed three bombers and we are looking around we're at 4000 meters we are the highest plane up there together with one of our friendlies there and we are assessing the situation. You can do two things here, you can either dive down or you can stay up and look for more bombers. I'm looking down, I'm checking my surroundings. What is the best thing I can do in this situation? When you have a little period like this in a match where you are high up, always check and think what is the best situation. Where can I do most good for my team? I don't see any bombers coming, so I decide to 
dive down on this fur ball here and help my few allies that are over there. Now, as I dive down, I see two planes going towards one of our allies. Actually, three, four. So I decide it might be more better, but every time, if you see, here I change again. My decision, as I go down, and here goes the Spitfire, changes every second. And there goes a the Kitty Hawk. As you see, I again aim before the reticle, before the aiming circle. You gotta adjust your, um, your base, your course of action as the situation develops and this can, this can be second by second now here we go for a P36 and we aim well in advance of the circle but we miss him we decide to uh, go through because we don't want to turn with him and lose all our energy I take it in the vertical right now my 600 kilometers as I started Make this loop in the vertical, turn back towards the situation. Put the nose down as I dive on this P36 and cool my engine at the same time. As you're getting and staying in matches longer and longer, because of I decide not to shoot at this burning plane by the way, because well, it's obviously blatantly on fire and that will be somebody else's kill. And would be a shame to get that. Although, uh, sometimes, you know, you're not thinking straight and it happens, so... Uh. But, make a habit of that. Here comes an AR-2. Now, easy kill. It was slow, low and slow. Now, I'm low now, but I'm not slow. So, here comes the energy thing again. I am checking my rear, as you see. Situational awareness, that is. Always keep checking your mini-map as well, guys. Minimap is important, especially when you're engaged. You can quickly peek look at it and see if anybody's behind you, if there's any red dots appearing on the map. Now, we have used our speed to get up. We are a thousand meters again, and we're trying to climb. Most people are below us. We also reloaded. That's another thing. Reload when you're assessing the situation. Don't forget to do that. It is the worst situation when you're in it when you get in a fur ball and after shooting at the first plane you're out of uh, bullets. Now there goes the, the next target, another Kitty Hawk. And here's a Nimrod presenting itself. Aim in front of the reticle and there it goes. We are full whipping again to get altitude. And again you see that many people stay at the deck in arcade you will always have the advantage if you do climb during a match and you will stay alive longer now IL2 see the lead at least half of the distance of the aiming circles above before it so it's, it's, a, it's a long distance here's a Spitfire presenting itself we're aiming well again it's dead following through missing that we make a sharp turn here we see people aiming up to that uh, this is like uh, going to a candy shop three four plane a planes aiming up going into the vertical at an enemy plane that's that's like a, a heaven it's so easy to get those guys easy targets now here as you see as I'm low and I'm reasonably slow but that's wh when you often get hit now it happens to me as well of course, as you cannot predict in every situation. There's a hawk on my tail. I'm trying to get the Spitfire before dying, but we crash into each other and that was my first run. And you see in the chat people uh, commenting on my 12 kills. Oh my god Jango, you're, you're some kind of killer. For the people who are just starting out and are quite new to the game, Sometimes it can look like magic when somebody's doing it, but as you see, it is. It's not magic. Now, here I go in some kind of half English, half Dutch, half English, but never mind. <laughs> anyway, we are high again and we want to, to keep our energy up. So. 
Who are we gonna dive at? Assess the situation. What is the good? Here, three people behind uh, one of ours. They are not aware of it. Many people focus too much. Don't look around them anymore. And are easy targets. Now, as I don't uh, finish these guys off, I do damage both of them. One critical and one with a few hits. I take it up into the vertical again, as you see. I do not often make my turns in the horizontal. Only when I'm dogfighting and I try to prevent dogfighting. Now, this guy, I shoot him on fire, but he, he had a lot of rockets for me, but they all missed. When you get fi shot with rockets, don't panic. Try to make your um, plane as small as possible. Now, four guys here. The Spitfire turns itself and is a, is a good target for me here. Lead the target. And he's down. J2M2. On fire. Take it into the vertical. Get some altitude back. Now, as you see these people asking me, fuck, how, how, I see that. People really are interested in knowing how to how to do it and basically guys it's just a few simple things you need to follow with discipline now I missed that target unfortunately but I take it back into the vertical get some altitude on him see if we can get him no no he gets killed by an ally now there's uh, an ally in trouble with two guys behind him I tried to help him now make a turn for him I get shot at a little bit there. Now here's a furball. I decided to, to shoot at another target. That's one. That's two. Try to follow one target to the other. Try to keep it logical. Targets will present it themselves uh, to you in this kind of a situation. I try to get a little bit of altitude in a climbing turn here. As we go down on this Ki 61. Now we crit him. But this target now presents itself as in a better way for me to kill quickly. So we do that. We follow through to this Spitfire. But no, we decide to turn to the right. A lot of enemies around. He goes down. Now aim. Do me in if you can't see correctly where you're shooting. Three, three targets in a row. Gladiator. Crit critted him. But now here we get hit. And we cannot we cannot do anything anymore. So I see these guys commenting on myself. And, and I usually don't really type during matches. Um, what are your shells made of? So they're clearly asking me how I do it. And I can't have a discussion when I'm playing a game how I do this. So... Uh, I tried to explain it very shortly to them, but basically shamelessly plug myself here, shamelessly uh, plug myself here for it. But I'm always very focused in matches, and I I I, I make no time really to to type a lot during matches because I am focused on my own uh, on my own performance. But if they want to know, well, they can they can watch it. And a little bit in honor of these guys and a few other guys uh, who ask me uh, how I do that, uh, I'm I decided to make this video because it is not it is not so hard. It is just practice, getting used to certain situations, and making the right tactical choices. Altitude, energy. How do I aim? The longer you are behind an enemy, the more chance you have a third enemy, a second enemy will come in and shoot you down. And you gotta stick to that discipline. You gotta be disciplined. And you see almost every time I get shot down when I go out of the out of the discipline. When I decide to turn fight. In a thunderbolt, like I just did. I can get many opponents down when I do that, because I, I aim very well. Now here you see, leading the target well, crit him, but he's turning. I can't follow in that, so I go into the vertical. 
and try to uh, dive on him. Now I get another hit in, but uh, I can't get him. Now he crashes with somebody else, so that's a missed opportunity, unfortunately. Now, what's our next course of action? We have four opponents here. The match is very even at the moment. Now he's not on fire, just smoking, so he could still lose some bombs on targets and we don't want bombs on targets, so I decide to kill him off. Follow through, I have 560 speed at the moment. Get it into the vertical, get some altitude back. I see an, an ally in trouble with two guys behind him. I decide to loop over and as they pass below me slot in on the Spitfire's tail full webbing to get speed close to distance and put him on fire now as I close because of all that speed I take it into vertical loop back over and he decided to jump now back into the vertical we are getting in a, a numerical disadvantage here the opponent is uh, the enemy team is doing better than us or had more planes I don't know but we seem to be uh, more of them than uh, of us now here comes an uh, SBD-3 another uh, bomber and I definitely want to stop him from wrecking havoc because uh, as we have less planes any bomb on a target could mean uh, the end uh, these are very difficult shots always when an enemy is going at a slight angle uh, from behind difficult because it's a small target and uh, the aiming uh, Radical doesn't really uh, tell you much. Alright. He is down. We turn back into the vertical again. Get altitude while you're at it. Flying back. Use your web when you can. Full webbing here again. Getting altitude. There's five, six guys coming at me here. I need to get above them if I stand if I want to stand any chance against them now they can either pitch up at me and be uh, an easy target for somebody else and for me or they can choose another target now this hurricane coming at me I decide to take it he thinks better of it and tries to avoid but he doesn't avoid hard enough and he's dead I decide to turn to the left here I don't want to fly uh, away or towards their spawn getting all their uh, guys back at me so I'm now flying back to our spawn and trying to prevent these guys from killing off any targets aim correctly again in front of the circle here again get some hits I miss him but that unfortunately also is the end of this match which we lost despite my 26 kills now there you are guys 26 kills enjoyable match I'll see you in the conclusion hey guys so here we are now that was a very good match 26 kills 2 deaths I tried to explain as best as I could how to do these kind of things it is a combination of knowing how to aim in your given planes but also learning a few critical things like situational awareness know where you are know where the enemies are choosing the right the correct course of action to one save your teammates two get kills and three don't die uh, the best way to do that is with a lot of energy keep your energy up as much as you can during a match you see most of the time when you get killed you got suckered into turn fighting 
I sometimes have it as well with a lot of targets there. Uh, aiming gets you a lot of those targets, but usually you die when you start turn fighting. If you take too long to shoot down an enemy, a second enemy will kill you. Because you're losing all your speed and you're losing all your situational awareness when you start turn fighting. So turn fighting, although fun sometimes, and of course we always we all want to have fun as well, so go ahead sometimes. But turn fighting is dangerous. It you lose situational awareness, you're only focused on uh, your one enemy and you uh, lose your speed and your energy so it's bad in multiple ways um, still it can be fun and it sometimes can net you a lot of a lot of kills but choose your moments to do it choose your moments your basic uh, flight discipline should be boom and zooming and energy fighting and trying to keep your energy up and every time you shoot an opponent down try to get altitude again reload at the right moment very important reloading when you are assessing the situation reload your plane even if you have half ammo left reload when you are above people and you are assessing the situation assessing your next next move you should be reloading then and uh, all these things combined make it so that you will get more kills eventually it's it's like um controlling your plane knowing where to aim and like, some kind of intuition but it, the intuition can form from practice so you have to practice this you have to try to work on your discipline with it and match after match after match you will see improvement and you will start to see better results that's uh, almost a guarantee unless of course you you well you you either have a very bad computer or a very bad internet connection that can hamper your development as well but if your basic conditions are right your computer is all right and you start practicing this and you have a decent eye hand coordination i will guarantee you you will get more kills if you try to fly like this so guys i hope this was helpful i hope you enjoyed it if you did enjoy it, make sure you like the video, leave me a comment, and if you want to see more, subscribe. I want to thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.